Let's all show that we're learning those lessons by working together to ensure a smoother deal. We have to be supporting the government through the right means. Uh, just as we helped uh, these countries when the outbreaks uh, were at its height, uh, we have to stand by with them as the outbreak is now um, ebbs. That means uh, providing essential services to these uh, countries, health care systems, education, jobs, and markets. There is an urgent, unfinished task, getting these cases to zero and staying there. I think we can uh, make it. We are now at the toughest stage. Last one mile of our long marathon race is most difficult at the last uh, finishing line. Let us work together until we've reached that finishing line with great success. Thank you very much. With the onslaught of the Ebola virus disease. Our original approach, we believe, is the best way to get the results that we want and we were pleased that our international partners endorsed this report and endorsed what we call a Marshall Plan, which means pooling all the resources together in innovative ways to enable us to not only to meet our national plans for recovery, but our regional plans that have been put together by our own technicians. Uh, we believe that a lot has been achieved but we are not yet out of the woods. We still have to remain focused on getting to zero and staying zero until we are declared Ebola free. But we also know that um, the Ebola has come with its own devastating consequences on our people, the economy, and the countries uh, uh, infected. We have to move forward. That is why we have presented a regional recovery program. We have to address the issues of getting our economics, our economies back on their feet. We have to address the issues of uh, the vulnerable people, the, the, the survivors, the orphans that have been left as a result of the Ebola. We have to get our schools uh, back to normalcy and address the issues of the teenage pregnancy that have been as a result of Ebola, and all of these need resources. In order to increase our national budget, which is going to be devoted to health care of the West African sub-region, I am not going to say anything.